Well, welcome. Hello, everyone. My name is Darnell Self, the Principal Network Advisor with Legal Shield. I want to congratulate you on your decision to join the Legal Shield family. The purpose of this short audio is to share with you some philosophies that will aid you on your journey to success. Now, I'm aware that my listening audience is extremely diverse from busboys to business owners to those who perhaps don't have a GED to those with MBAs and PhDs. And quite frankly, none of that matters because the teachings I'll share with you today have no prejudice. They can be applied to everyone in anyone's business, relationships and life in general. By the way, I guess I should tell you I'm speaking to you not as principal network advisor today, but Darnell Self, the associate who's been fortunate and blessed to build an amazing organization of 40 plus six figure income earners and 12 millionaire club members all before I turned the age of 40. And I share that accomplishment with you for two reasons. Number one. I want you to know that the ideas and philosophies that allowed our team to accumulate that kind of success was taught to me by personal mentors, seminars I attended, audios I listened to, and Legal Shield events I participated in. It's been tried, tested, and proven. Number two, I want you to know that I started just like you. I had a first day, I made mistakes, and to be completely transparent, I even had days along my journey where I doubted. I think it's only appropriate that I share with you a little bit about my background prior to Legal Shield. You see, I was raised to go to school, get the good grades, graduate, and get a good job. And I did exactly that. After graduating with my bachelor's degree, I ended up working in retail, which, by the way, had nothing to do with my degree, but it was something I was familiar with. I'd been working in retail already while I was attending college. I had the typical retail management schedule of 60 to 80 hour work weeks, no weekends off, and most holidays I was working because that's when people shop the most. And one day while at the mall, something happened that would alter the rest of my life. You see, a shoplifter who was stealing an expensive coat threatened my life. In fact, the mall where I worked had become extremely violent. It felt like they were doing more shooting than buying clothes. And so I decided it was time for a change. I couldn't wait for the mall to change. I couldn't wait for my circumstances to change, and I couldn't wait for the president's term to change. I had to change. You see, change starts with you. So I answered an ad in the paper, and I went into an interview. Well, so I thought, it, but it wasn't a job. It was a network marketing company, a company that allowed you to order product at wholesale and sell those products at retail and recruit other people to do the same. Long story short, I ordered thousands of dollars worth of water filters, vitamin supplements, shampoos, facial products, etc. Don't judge me. But I'll never forget my, my wife saying, if you don't sell all of this stuff, you're going to use it yourself. Well, I didn't sell it all. In fact, I tried two more network marketing companies before discovering Legal Shield. So you can imagine my hesitancy and doubt. Not because of Legal Shield, but because of all the things I tried before. And so I started this journey when I was 24 years old. I quit my job at the mall, stepping out on faith, thinking if things don't work out in my entrepreneurial ventures, I can always go back and get a job in retail. But that wasn't the case. I couldn't find a job and things got really bad for my wife and I. And by the way, uh, we had two children at the time. And the month before I joined Legal Shield, uh, my car was repossessed, my house is up for foreclosure, and so I'm 28 years old at this point, and the bad news is that I'm promising my family that this time things will really work out with my new business, which is Legal Shield, and I can't blame them for doubting me, for I'd said this several times before. The good news is I was 28 years old, and I wasn't the same person that I was when I was 24 years old. My philosophies had changed. I'd read dozens of books within that four-year span. My thinking was completely different. And this time, unbeknownst to me, the company called Legal Shield was completely different from anything in the industry. So at 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 years old, I was broke financially, but becoming wealthy in my philosophies. And so by the age of 30, my wife and I were giving more away and tithing at our church and other charities that we supported more than we used to make at the mall, all because of Legal Shield. So enough about me. Let's talk about this exciting journey that you've just embarked upon. Will it be easy? Well, I've learned a long time ago 
that things that are easy to do are also easy not to do. It was easy for you to take this audio and to listen to it, but it's also easy or just as easy to let it stay in its jacket cover and never listen to it. Everything I'll share with you is something you can do if you choose to. Easy being defined as something you can do, but again, you must choose to do it. In order for things to change, you have to change. The philosophy continues with, don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. By now, you may be thinking, okay, why are you talking about all these philosophies, Darnell? I just want to know how I can achieve the lifestyle of those who are at the top of Legal Shield. Look at it this way. If you want the lifestyle, you have to look at how that lifestyle was achieved. So philosophy determines the decisions you make, the direction you take, Direction determines your destination in health, family, money, future, daily operation, etc., all guided by our philosophy. So essentially, philosophies equate to attitudes, which equate to activities and then results and then lifestyle. And if it were about the how to's, then we all just read a book and become a millionaire. Or if it was about the how-tos, all of our professors would be a millionaire. So what I often find with new associates is that they neglect the importance of philosophies and attitudes because they've been taught that the how-tos are more important. Now, don't get me wrong. You want to pick up the skills and learn the how-tos, but making the how-to a priority over why you're doing the business is a recipe for disaster. The how-tos won't get you to come out to a meeting when you're feeling down, but your reasons why will. And once you're at a meeting or on a conference call or doing the activity, you'll learn the skills. So let's shift gears and talk about how you feel about Legal Shield. You're obviously excited about your new business, but unfortunately, not everyone is going to feel the same way that you are about your new business. So it's important that you understand what you have in front of you. Now, people often make the mistake of comparing us to the rest of the network marketing industry, saying things like, oh, I've heard of things like that before. But one major thing that separates us from the rest of the industry is our product. We have a real product. I mean, it took us two decades just to create the balance of customers and law firms for it to really work because it's not like formulating a vitamin or putting together a travel package. We feel a real need. In fact, our market research shows that nearly 90 percent of Americans say they do not have any form of legal protection service. Two thirds of Americans say they have never even heard of such plans or services. And more than 60 percent reported they would be interested in purchasing a legal plan. Now, we would be hard-pressed to find another product that would fit into that market research. Let's back up a minute. Name a product or service where 90% of the market doesn't have it. How about two-thirds have never even heard of it? And yet at the same time, 60% are interested in purchasing it. Okay, time's up. Exactly. Not many exist. We've taken one of the oldest industries in the world and given it new life, the legal industry. And we also have a product that can stand alone without an opportunity attached to it. We have people earning six figures without a big team in Legal Shield. Again, that separates us from the rest of the industry. Typically in MLMs, the product is just an excuse to launder money amongst family and friends. Our product is a non-me too, and so is the infrastructure that supports it. There's clear sailing here because you take the greatest minds and leaders and a ton of investors, and they couldn't put anything like this together anytime soon. We are the only company in North America with a closed panel of provider law firms. This is special. That simply means that we have carefully chosen the law firms in your state or province, and in most cases, Legal Shield is their number one client. So I doubt anyone will ever even try to put together infrastructure like this. So name another company in our industry that can say that. Again, time's up. So let's compare this to, let's say, an ABC juice company. It's easy to duplicate. Anyone can do it. So another juice company launches and sometimes makes millions and millions of dollars and people are wild by the upfront stories created. And the problem is the top distributors or other entrepreneurs take notice and create their own juice company with a special ingredient that makes theirs even better. And all of a sudden you have five companies doing, let's say, 200 million in sales and it creates a billion dollar industry. And then the traditional retailers take notice and start selling it themselves. And of course, the distributors of a network marketing company couldn't compete because they had to mark their product up considerably just to create a compensation plan around the juice because it was never about the juice. So eventually that business fails. That's the thing I love about Legal Shield, And I want you to love about Legal Shield. You can't buy a package of lawyers. 
You're never going to end up with a bunch of lawyers just selling your trunk. Another thing that's encouraging about our company and about our product is that the size of the market is huge. The market ahead of us is vast, much bigger than the penetration behind us. Normally, the person who gets in at the beginning makes all the money because the market is small. Our market is huge. The people who get in decades after you have the same opportunity. Which brings me to one of the most common objections I heard when I got started. Oh, is that one of those things? You know, one of the things where the people at the top make the most money? And I simply responded with, oh, well, let me ask you a question. Does your boss make more than you? What about his or her boss? Do they make more than both of you? So it sounds like you work for one of those things under your definition. <laughs> the thing I love about Legal Shield is that you can introduce someone who makes more money than you, but you don't mind because it benefits you too. In fact, I introduced a friend of mine who introduced his coworker, who in turn introduced their supervisor. And that supervisor actually hit the top position of Legal Shield before me. You know, how awesome is that? Knowing you can make a difference in someone else's life like that. You know, I was once told a candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. Don't get me wrong. Some people are just negative. There's nothing you can do about it. Don't sign up for that class. Don't spend too much time on things you can't change. Remember, the key is for you to change. You can't change other people. They can only decide to change themselves, just like you can't change the seasons. Uh, but you can change how you feel about the seasons. After fall comes winter, no matter how badly you hate winter. But the wonderful thing about that is that after winter comes spring. Now, I had plenty of people try to talk me out of Legal Shield, especially in the beginning when I had baby skin. You know, every little negative remark seemed to hurt until I built up this rhinoceros skin. You know, when I was in Africa, the rhino had birds on its back. It had birds in its nose and it just carried on about its business. But this rhino learned how to stay distracted from its distractions. You see, my father was, uh, was a bird on my back, if you will, uh, to no fault of his own. Uh, he, he was used to earning wages and not profits. And I was going completely against his philosophy of security, knowing when your next check is coming in. But I knew too much. I'd already learned that profits were better than wages. So don't allow others who have not decided to earn profits talk you out of earning unlimited profits here with Legal Shield. It's very hard to become wealthy earning wages. Well, I guess I should also tell you that one of the reasons why my father felt he could be so hard on me was because I was borrowing his pickup truck when I started with Legal Shield. Remember, my car had been repossessed. So he kept saying, when am I going to get my truck back? Are you rich yet? Isn't it funny how people who have been working for 30 plus years, the same job, and by the way, aren't rich yet? Well, I ask you if you're rich yet after three months in Legal Shield. Or he'd say things like, when are you going to stop trying all of these businesses? But I remembered reading about the philosophies of the wealthy. So it was easy for me to respond, of course, respectfully to my dad and say, listen, dad, the mistakes of the past have to be invested in the future. I'd also heard it said this way. Show me someone who's never failed and I'll show you a failure. My cousin used to always say to me, so sales, you're selling. Really, Darnell? You've, you're always selling something. Get a real job. But again, I was keenly aware that if you're not in sales, you're in support of someone who is. I remember reading in Think and Grow Rich where Napoleon Hill took 20 years of his life to interview 500 of the wealthiest people in the world at that time. And the number one reason why these 500 elites felt like most people were not successful was because they were listening to their family, friends and neighbors. And I'd seen people quit Legal Shield because of a comment like my dad or my cousin made. Uh, they were so excited the day they joined. I never heard from them again. They just we call them missing in action, not because I did anything wrong or Legal Shield did anything thing wrong. So be careful. Don't accept that guilt. Okay. Of course, you're going to be disappointed, but don't blame yourself. But if you did your best and you know, you gave it your all, accept the pain, but not the guilt. You know, I'll never forget. I scheduled my first private business reception. You know, I was excited about launching my business and had all these confirmations of my family and friends, but still no one showed. <laughs> no, not one. You know, I could have easily said that Legal Shield doesn't work. Um, I, I can't believe that no one showed up. This isn't for me. But my newfound philosophies helped me to see that it wasn't Legal Shield's fault that my family and friends didn't keep their word. Now, if I didn't schedule a private business reception, then that'd be my fault. So we got to be honest with ourselves. 
show up and be ready to play. You're no longer a fan. You're listening to this CD because you've joined Legal Shield. So you're no longer a fan. You're on the field. You see, a fan has no real involvement. Sure, they wear the jersey just like the players, but the fan adjusts their commitment level based on circumstances. I've seen fans turn on the player after one mistake. The same fan who rooted for the team with all that they had, I mean, screaming, were willing to fight someone who says something negative about their team. It's the same fan that five minutes later would walk out of the stadium based on a change of circumstances. So the fan mentality exists in relationships, organizations, and even businesses like Legal Shield. But the player has to discipline their disappointments. If one play doesn't work out as planned, guess what? There's another play, and you can't leave the stadium. I had to come to the conclusion that quitting wasn't an option. So guess what I was forced to do? You've got it. Get better. Remember, don't pray for less problems. Pray for more solutions. Those who solve the biggest problems make the biggest paycheck. There are going to be a lot of challenges, perhaps with your upline or your team, a home office challenge, a law firm challenge. And you're going to have plenty of problems that stand between you and your millionaire club status. And it's your philosophy about problems that will help you to excel or hold you back. Your problems are used to help you to become a problem solver. So embrace them. It's like trying to become courageous without facing fear. So keep your reasons in front of you. Reasons are like a magnet. They pull you in the direction of your goals, but they will also pull you through during tough times. This is why, as a new associate, it's vitally important that you stay plugged into the system, the weekly meetings, the trainings, the conference calls. The support system is reassurance. It's a voice or a collection of voices reemphasizing the product, the opportunity. You know, it's okay that it happened to me, too. The support system is reassurance. It's a voice or a collection of voices reemphasizing the product, the opportunity. It says, it's okay. That happened to me, too. And I made it. You did make a wise choice. You can become better than where you are. We believe in you. So you may be in business for yourself, but you're certainly not in business by yourself. This is especially important if your current associations don't believe in your legal shield business. Some of my friends called me a sellout, meaning I didn't want to watch the same TV shows or go to the same places, complain about the same things every day. However, my mentor said sometimes you have to sell out and leave out in order to come back and help out. You also want to suggest that you enroll yourself in personal development, You know, listening to the CD one more time, going to the meeting one more time. This sustains you. It's a combination of all of the above. You can't miss anything because one of those meetings are bound to be life altering. It's like a combination lock. If you keep turning and pulling on that lock, one of those numbers are bound to open up your safe of future fortunes. Now, the good thing about an established company like Legal Shield is that someone's already done it. So surround yourself with ongoing testimonies to combat the negative ones you're bound to hear. You know, I'll never forget suggesting that one of my new associates come out to another briefing. Now, she had already been to several briefings before, but she was told often by her family, uh, you know, are you going again? Don't they say the same thing? And as a sidebar, you know, no one said that about my job, by the way. You know, are you going to work again tomorrow? <laughs> you know, aren't they going to say the same thing? And the answer would have been yes. As a retail manager, I would have said, hey, can I help you? And my customers would have just said, I'm just looking. That was essentially my day for 10 years. And don't get me wrong. I picked up more skills. I met more people. But the same thing was going to happen to my new associate if she kept coming out to the briefing. And I knew perhaps she would uh, hear one more testimony. Maybe pick up one more skill, get reinvigorated. Well, I convinced her to show up. And it just so happened that a young lady gave a testimony at that meeting that inspired her to go to a big Legal Shield event. And the rest is history. She became a millionaire club member. She created five separate six figure ring on her legs. And the lesson is you never know which meeting or which time you listen to the CD or what conference call will cause the explosion. Don't neglect the assembly. People are sometimes frustrated you know, because a lot has happened in life and they feel like life has passed them by. So they become desperate and they look for the elephant, the big deal, you know, an apple a day versus 30 in one day. And so a lot of folks, unfortunately, feel like if I just eat 30 in one day, I can hurry up and, and perhaps become healthy faster. Well, it doesn't work that way. Sometimes it has the opposite effect. So don't let the past own you. 
You can draw a line and start small disciplines. Success in our industry comes from doing activities over and over again because people don't see immediate results. They stop. Just keep doing it, even when it seems like there's no difference at all in the act of doing it. Keep showing up. It's like paying tuition, attending classes in college. You know, knowledge just accumulates. No one said to me after eight months in college, so do you have your degree yet? So when someone asks you about your income, you know, are you rich yet? You can easily say, hey, I'm investing in myself right now, just like paying tuition for a degree. And I'm showing up in class every single day, but I'm excited to be on the path to achieve my degree in financial independence. So let me just share a few philosophies that that really assisted me in the beginning of my business. And I'd ask that you listen to this over and over again until they're ingrained in your heart and your mind. So if you will change, everything will change for you. You can't stay the same and expect things to change. You'll find some great associations in Legal Shield. Read what they read, go where they go, and do what they do. Become comfortable with becoming uncomfortable. If you want to accelerate your learning curve, listen to the Next Step audio series that comes in your new associate kit. I interviewed the top two money earners in all of Legal Shield. They will give you insights that will certainly propel your growth in Legal Shield. I was once told if you want what someone has, find out what they did, do it, and you can have similar results. Start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible, and suddenly, you're doing the impossible or what it was at least perceived as impossible. Make sure you treat this like a business. The rule of thumb, if you want to run a franchise, you invest five times than what you'd like to make. So if you want to make $100,000 a year in a franchise, you typically would have to invest $500,000. And it will take you about three to five years on the average before you profit. And those business owners will be there day and night. And by the way, in their sixth year, when they're in profit, perhaps, They'll have to do the exact same thing that six years they did year one through five just to keep the income coming in. Here, if you treat this just like a business, just like you invested six figures, where could you be in five years? But the difference is you're building leverage. And so you don't have to do as much the sixth year if you're building leverage. And guess what? The best is still yet to come. And I expect that not everyone I introduced today will be with me five years from now. My mentor said, two people care about your bills, you and the people you owe. So don't wait on people. Continue to move forward. So I started my journey at 24 years old. And by 30 years old, everything was different. I went on an accelerated learning curve. And at the age of 28, Legal Shield came into my life. And no, not everyone around me went on the same six-year personal development journey. Everyone didn't see the same value in working on themselves. But I had to be okay with that. I understood that not everyone came with me to the mall when I worked there either. After going almost every day for 10 years, the mall was full of the same shoppers, but I'd become different. Along the journey, let the repetition at Legal Shield allow you to become better. Let the journey shape and mold you. Learning how to use your ingenuity within the system. Learning how to improvise. Learning how to recover from your mistakes. You show up for what it will make you, but more importantly, what it will make of you. The greatest value in life is not what you will make, but what it will make of you. You have to be willing to do what most people aren't willing to do so you can have what most won't have. You see, wealth is a minority. So if everyone had it, it'd be the majority. So don't expect everyone to see what you see. Little wins equal big wins. So remember, when someone says yes, that's a win. When someone says, I'll watch the video, that's a win. It's not necessarily when you've made $1,000. It's the small wins that equal the big wins. Someone asked me a long time ago, how did you create so many millionaires? Well, I haven't. I just helped people make their first few hundred dollars. They gave themselves permission to make more. And it was relative all the way up to the millionaire club status. This is one of my favorite philosophies. It's not the blowing of the wind, but the setting of the sail that determines your destination. The same winds blowing us all. But how will you respond to it? If people get their philosophies right, their activities will follow. Every discipline affects every other discipline, and every lack impacts every other lack. Now, I can't wait to meet you and hear your testimony. Maybe you'll say I listened to an audio when I began my Legal Shield career, and it was that one idea, that one philosophy you shared that altered the direction of my business and now my life. Not because Darnell's self was so great, but because he shared some great things. 
I don't need any credit or accolades. I don't receive any compensation when you purchase this audio, but my reward is much greater. Just knowing the things that have been shared with me, I have an opportunity to bless and help improve the lives of others who learn and apply and teach these same principles. That's a blessing to me. You see, I believe 100% that real abundance comes from giving back. So don't let this seed fall on stony ground. Plant these ideas deep in your heart and mind. Don't allow anyone to uproot the dream you know you've been purposed to achieve. Congratulations in advance, my friends, and enjoy the journey. Welcome to Legal Shield. This information is for use by Legal Shield, its affiliates, and its independent associates for associate training purposes only. No guarantee or promise of increased income or business is implied. Individual results and success as an independent sales associate depends on individual effort and abilities.